Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Daniel Wiafi, the house flipping ninja, coming at you from the streets of sunny and beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. In this video, I want to go ahead and touch bases on a question which uh, people have been asking me lately. Um, people have been asking me lately, my students and those who are following this blog have been asking me, uh, how do you know what a good deal is and where can you find the good deals at and how do you know if a seller is motivated enough and uh, questions along that nature. At the end of the day, one of the best formulas that I can give you is uh, actually something which uh, came to uh, was given to me by Adora Sanya of uh, Philadelphia, PA, and uh, he's another coach and uh, also a uh, house flipper. And what he was telling me was he has an equation called M plus E equals D. I'll say it again: M plus E equals D. And no, we're not talking about uh, Albert Einstein's E equals MC squared or nothing crazy like that. But basically, it means motivation plus equity equals deal. So M plus E equals D. If you get somebody who is, one, motivated enough, and you get somebody who, two, has equity, then you have a deal. And so basically what you're looking for is you're looking for uh, somebody who's motivated when you're talking to these sellers on the phone. You want to get somebody who says that I need to sell the house fast because um, my grandfather needs a new liver or a kidney or I need his money fast because I'm getting kicked out of my house or I need to move halfway across the country. That's motivation right there. Um, or they say that I need to sell this house because the the city is going to tear it down next week if I don't do it. Or I need to sell this house quickly because I'm getting like, I have like $5,000 in back taxes on the house. And if I don't pay the taxes, they're going to take my house from me and sell it at a tax lien sale. Um, that's motivation right there. You know, you don't want to talk to people who are talking about, oh, hey, I just seen your bandit sign in the street or I got a letter from you and I just wanted to know what you'd offer on my house. No, you don't want to deal with people like that. You know, they're not motivated enough. And uh, two, you need to make sure that the people have equity in their house. So um, I, I know out here in Vegas, let me give you a quick pan shot. This is a, uh, a, a typical neighborhood out here in Vegas, but uh, most of the homes out here were built in the uh, 90s and 2000s. It's a, a pretty new city. And so for most of these people who have homes, a lot of them don't have equity in it. And uh, with the real estate market crashing, this further exacerbates the uh, situation out here. Um, so you want to deal with people who um, have equity in their homes and uh, they're not uh, underwater. And this is when you're dealing with a uh, wholesale deal. And so typically the houses which you want to target are houses which are beat up, they're old, they're vacant, you know, they look distressed. And uh, when you have that, then people are naturally going to be motivated because when you think about it, in order for you to get a wholesale deal that uh, works, you need to make sure that uh, there's a reason why the person would want to give you their house for 50, 60 cents on the dollar or less than that. You know, if a house isn't distressed, then why would a person give you their house for 50 cents on the dollar you know it, it doesn't make any sense because they could just list it with a realtor and get it sold you know but if a person has a jacked up tore up house then yeah there's motivation there because they can't just take that to a realtor and uh, get it sold on the open market the realtor is going to tell them oh well you need to fix up the house so you want to look for uh beat up houses and uh i'm i'm going to show you a uh, beat up house here let me get out of my car this house right here is very beat up and I mean it's vacant, it's abandoned, um, as you can see there's boards in the garage and boards in the windows and uh, there's junk at the uh, front door and there's even uh, vines growing on the side. And so this just lets you know that this property right here is vacant, it's distressed and that's right there is motivation right there. You know, if you have a house that's sitting like this, 
then the owner probably wants to get rid of the house, you know, but uh, they can't just put it out in the open market because for the most part, who's going to buy it? Nobody really wants to get a house like that. Um, so as long as they have equity in this deal, then um, it's probably going to be something which can be a deal that I can get under contract and that I can flip out to a cash buyer. So anyways, when you're out here uh, searching for deals, make sure again that uh, you're using that M plus E equals D equation. Motivation plus equity equals a deal. You know, you find plenty of houses like that and the sky is the limit to how many houses that you'll flip. So again, uh, if you have any questions, make sure you uh, comment on this video. Uh, send me an email. Also, make sure you visit my blog at www.houseflippingninja.com. Again, that site is www.houseflippingninja.com and make sure you subscribe at the upper right hand corner of my uh, blog because I have a 223 page ebook entitled How to Flip Houses Like a Ninja which is going to give you a blueprint on how I flip houses on a daily basis so peace, God bless and I will see you in the next video